I'm Jake. I'm Ryan. And we're going to teach you about elevators. <laughs> Hey, I'm Eric the Elevator Man. Let's find some elevator riders. Wait, what's the matter? I'm afraid of elevators. Well, you shouldn't be. Elevators have maximum capacity, shock absorbers, safety brakes just in case the latch breaks on the elevator and falls. Thank you. I feel much safer. Well, you should be. Goodbye. Oh, you must know a lot about elevators. Tell me something. Well, Elijah Otis, as you can see, perfected the elevator in 1852. Oh, so he invented it? No. Ancient Greeks and Romans made it a couple of thousand years ago. That's very interesting. Yeah. Second floor? So elevators for lazy people, right? Not exactly. What do you mean? Like this guy. How has an elevator helped you? Uh, I can't go upstairs, and it's a faster and easier way to lift to the floor. So what happened to your knee? I had recent surgery. So without an elevator, you would just not be able to go to the next floor, right? Yeah. This is another reason why people use elevators. Heavy equipment. Can't take it up the stairs. Now let's ask a couple of people how elevators change their lives. How has an elevator changed your life? Uh, really, helping people go up different floors, it's easier than taking the stairs. If someone's hurt, someone's injured, it's easier to just put them in the elevator, take them up to whatever floor they need to go to, help them out. How does an elevator change your life? Well, when I have lots of things to carry, it's a whole lot easier to get on an elevator and go upstairs instead of dragging things upstairs that would be very heavy for me. Your floor? Two. There's another satisfied elevator. As you can see, pulleys and winches are a very useful way to raise and lower heavy objects. The Greeks and Romans utilized this simple machine by creating elevators with it, which were similar to bird cages with pulleys and counterweights attached to them. Obviously, elevators weren't very powerful in this time period and could only be used to raise and lower light cargo or small animals. In the mid-1800s, however, this all changed. Elijah Otis created a safety brake, which allowed elevators to become more complex than an attachment of simple machines. This revolutionized the elevator industry forever. Welcome to the game show, Question on Elevators. I'm your host, Eric Moreno. We're going to find some contestants. Welcome to the game show with all questions on elevators. I'm your host, Eric Reynolds. If you answer these two questions correctly, you get a fabulous prize. I'm not so sure I want to do this. First question, who invented the elevator? Elijah Otis. Second question, what year did they invent it? 1852. What do I win? A free ride elevator, so get out! Oh my god. We're back with your ghost, Jake Keller, filling in for Eric Miranda, who has a bad case of elevator sickness. We're here with Ryan Benson. He is stumped on the question. The question is, how much weight does a normal elevator hold? You have one shot out left. Would you like to use it? Yes. Alright. 
Wait, wait, wait. We have a question for you. Okay. How much does a normal elevator hold in pounds? Like 5,000 pounds? Correct. No. Wait, why, why not? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, the door elevator's closing, the elevator's closing, oh, wait, yeah. sorry, oh. Elevators were first invented by the ancient Greeks and Romans, then they were perfected by Elijah Graves Otis in 1852. Elevators have many safety features such as maximum capacity, shock absorbers, and safety brake. Elevators are a great way for disabled people and people with heavy equipment to move between floors. Thanks for riding!